What's going on guys, it's Unknown Player here and today we're going to talk about some really cool Black Ops 3 news. I'm going to be summing up and rounding up all the latest news that has come out in the past coming days including some really interesting multiplayer stuff and of course even more multiplayer info is on the way just around the corner at E3 next week so make sure you stay tuned to this channel, subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Twitter for the latest Black Ops 3 news. But today we're going to talk about some really interesting things regarding Black Ops 3. First off, Marshawn Lynch who is an American NFL player got to visit Treyarch Studios and play Black Ops 3. Now not only that, he's actually started in the game and it's actually come out that he will be a main like villain that you play against in the game and he's kind of like an antagonist that you're going to encounter in the campaign now I don't think he's going to be the main villain like the Kevin Spacey I think he's just described to be as a kind of mercenary that you're going to encounter probably for a mission or two and maybe chase him down but you uh, seem to have some sort of shootout with him in Singapore and there's actually a screenshot in the article for ESPN that he actually featured in and it shows an actual image of him and his friend playing Black Ops 3 multiplayer you can barely make out the image and if I turn down the contrast and brightness you can kind of see it because the image is very very like overexposed you can see like a ton of brightness in it you can't really make out all too much in the image but you can if you turn the brightness down make out some parts and it's clearly a multiplayer map you can see the minimap which is probably the most interesting thing it's very kind of wide angled and a lot more like if you're running the peripherals perk or how the ghost minimap was it's a lot more wide as opposed to the normal square ones so that's really cool so you can see a little bit more of the minimap you can also see the uh, traditional score streaks in the bottom right hand corner with those kind of like boxes and the yellow squares when you've earned one he looks to be on some sort of turret that's the only thing i can think of why there's no uh, kind of heads up display or ammo counter and it does appear to be a very very big gun that he's holding either a turret or an lmg or possibly even some kind of death machine mini gun that you can walk around with as a score street because he has got his score streets activated so possibly this is a very very big weapon that you can actually wield in the multiplayer and it looks like just to the left that very much looks to me like a wall running pad it looks very similar to the pads that we saw in that trailer we got on the 26th of april and that showed a wall running pad in the multiplayer maps which looks very similar to this and it's just kind of like a very very flat very kind of basic surface that looks like it's made to be wall running on so that's most likely going to be a surface that you can actually run on and uh, do some really interesting stuff and get to parts of the map but this looks to be a very kind of cool part of a multiplayer map it kind of reminds me of Solar from Advanced Warfare very futuristic and kind of like very advanced looking of course because the game is set in 2065 and on the screen to the left of him you can see a guy who's in a building can't see any weapons on his screen or anything but again it's kind of cool images to see uh, something else more interesting is that you can see the console he is playing on you can see an xbox one you can see two in fact and you also see some ps4s right to the left of them and it's very strange to see them both there because he's actually playing on the ps4 you can see the ps4 controller in his hand there he's got a ps4 headset so i'm not sure why the xbox one is there as well maybe they just had it in the image just so it didn't seem like it was only ps4 i think they probably put them in there just so it is kind of like even and so we wouldn't get the impression that it was only ps4 and it might be a ps4 exclusive because we still don't know of course whether the dlc will come early on the xbox or the playstation platform we're have to find that out very very soon at e3 i'm sure if there's any kind of exclusivity that could just be completely even as well that's definitely a possibility too that's a really cool image of black ops 3 and kind of like what the heads up display might look like of course it is very much subject to change it's probably gonna look very different by the final build of the game uh, some more information we got is some info that we've been waiting for for a very very long time and is very important and this is about old gen we got confirmation that black ops 3 will be on old gen so it is going to be on xbox 360 and ps3 and it's not going to be on wii u we've got that confirmed 100 percent from Activision and a company called Beanbox and Mercenary Technology are actually the guys that are actually porting the consoles uh, for, to the old generation. So they're going to be handling it. Uh, of course, it's not track track and not working at all on old gen. They're working 100% on the next gen, so PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And uh, they've just kind of ported all of the development of the old gen into a different studio, which is called Beanbox and Mercenary Technology. So let me know in the comment section what do you think about that? Are you glad that it's coming on old gen, or do you think it's kind of holding back the next gen possibilities? Because we did get some information that it is going to be a slightly restricted game it's not going to affect next gen but the actual old generation versions are going to have slight differences to compared to the next gen of course which you would expect because it is kind of made to be on next gen and it's not going to have the same experience on old gen as it would as next so it's only going to have two player campaign we know that next gen has four player campaign so that's a limitation right there and there are other features that are going to be limited that haven't been announced just yet they may not have ground war and there's probably going to be limitations in terms of numbers and you can't do as much stuff on the old gen as you can the next gen so that's kind of some information about that and also that a DLC isn't confirmed. They said that they'll have more information about Black Ops 3, a DLC on Xbox and PS3 closer to the launch date. So it's not exactly confirmed yet. And also you can't
can't pre-order the season pass. There's a lot of information about old gen that isn't really confirmed just yet. It seems kind of like a last minute thing, like they still don't know whether they're going to do it properly or not, or whether there'll be DLC, or whether the DLC will be as good on old gen, but it's definitely going to be happening. And at least if you have an old gen system, you'll be able to play it Black Ops 3 yourself. Of course, it won't look as good as it will the next gen systems. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed this news roundup video. Let me know what your thoughts are about Black Ops 3. Of course, like I said, we're very close to Black Ops 3, and you make sure you want to stay tuned on this channel for next week when Black Ops 3 gets revealed at E3. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like rating if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video.